Hi there, thank you for tuning in. My name is Carolyn King with MVB Bank, member FDIC. Trusted partners on the financial frontier committed to your success. We're happy to continue to bring the story to you even during social distancing as an on-demand recording. We look forward to reading live and in person soon. Today I'll be reading Benny's Pennies, written by Pat Burson, illustrated by Bob Barner, and recommended by FDIC Money Smart. Today we'll be exploring three key ideas. The first one is making decisions. There are different ways to use money. Taking the time to ask questions, learning about different choices, and comparing what's good and bad about each choice helps you to make great decisions. The second key idea is spending. You need money to buy things. These things have different prices. Money can be spent only once. After buying something, a person needs more money to buy something else. The third key idea is sharing and borrowing. There are two kinds of sharing. Something shared that does not have to be returned or paid for is a gift. Something borrowed must be returned. Let's begin. Benny's Pennies by Pat Brisson, illustrated by Bob Barner. Benny McBride had five new pennies. What should I buy? He asked. Buy something beautiful, said his mom. Buy something good to eat, said his brother. Buy something nice to wear, said his sister. Woof, woof, said his dog. Meow, said his cat. Okay, Benny said, I will. So Benny McBride, with five new pennies, strolled out in the morning sun. A woman was cutting roses. Her name was Mrs. Hill. Will you sell me a rose? asked Benny. Will you sell me a rose for a penny? Yes, I will, said Mrs. Hill. Then Benny McBride, with four new pennies and a sweet-smelling rose, strolled on in the morning sun. A girl was baking cookies. Her name was Lucy May. Will you sell me a cookie? asked Benny. Will you sell me a cookie for a penny? A cookie for a penny? Okay, said Lucy May. Then Benny McBride with three new pennies, a sweet smelling rose, a soft warm cookie, strolled on in the morning sun. A boy was making hats. His name was Michael Bess. Will you sell me a hat? asked Benny. Will you sell me a hat for a penny? Yes, oh yes, said Michael Bess. Then Benny McBride with two new pennies, a sweet smelling rose, a soft warm cookie, and a fine paper hat strolled on in the morning sun. A butcher was cutting meat. His name was Mr. Hopper. Will you sell me a bone? asked Benny. Will you sell me a bone for a penny? You're quite a shopper, said Mr. Hopper. Then Benny McBride with one new penny, a sweet smelling rose, a soft warm cookie, a fine paper hat, and a big meaty bone strolled on in the morning sun. A man was catching fish. His name was Mr. Beal. Will you sell me a fish? asked Benny. Will you sell me a fish for a penny? It's a deal, said Mr. Beal. Then Benny McBride with a sweet smelling rose, a soft warm cookie, a fine paper hat, a big meaty bone, a floppy wet fish, but no new pennies, strolled home in the morning sun. I'm back, he called, and I bought what you said. It's beautiful, said his mom. Mmm, good, said his brother. I like it, said his sister. Woof, woof, said his dog. Meow, said his cat. Thank you, Benny, they all said together. You're welcome, said Benny McBride. So what did we just learn? What a great story. Benny had five pennies, and instead of using them on himself, 
he decided to buy gifts for his entire family. His neighbors assisted him by allowing him to get each item for just a penny. He bought a rose for his mom, he bought a cookie for his brother, he bought a hat for his sister, he bought a bone for his dog, and a fish for his cat. While saving is extremely important, it's also important to share with others. Benny was very generous. The items he bought cost more than just five pennies. He received a discount for his generosity. His neighbors were just as giving and thoughtful as he was to have given him those items at such a low price. What would you do if you had just five pennies? Would you save it? Would you buy something nice for yourself or would you share it with others? That's all for today's MVB's Read Aloud. Thanks for joining and I really hope you've enjoyed learning with me today. That's it for now. Goodbye.